Howdy there folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up Sky Factory 4 uh, as well as how to get Sfax installed with the, the mod pack so that you can have some really nice textures if you're into that sort of thing. I'm going to be demonstrating on an iMac but the process is almost exactly identical on the PC. The reason I'm not doing it on my gaming PC is I've already got it set up there and it would be a bit of a hassle to remove it all and, and reinstall it. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is launch your internet browser of choice, either Chrome or Safari, and navigate to the first link in the description. That's twitch.tv slash downloads. This is where we're going to be getting the launcher. If you have the FTB launcher, it's available on there as well, but I personally prefer to use the Twitch launcher. So you can just click download for Mac OS or download for Windows, and once it's downloaded, it should go into your downloads folder. If it doesn't, then you have a different default downloads location, and I, I can't help you. I don't know where that would be on your computer. You're going to have to search around for it, but by default on Mac and on Windows, it'll go to your downloads folder. While you're online, you might as well go ahead and download the resource pack and the patch. So the second link will take you to the pure BDCraft page on the BDCraft website. And uh, from there you scroll down to thoroughly read through all of the terms of use. Read every single one of them before you click accept. And then scroll down and, uh, what, accept cookies? I guess we have to do that as well. <laughs> there we go. And now we pick what version we want. So we want Minecraft 1.12 because Sky Factory Four is in Minecraft 1.12 and then you've got some options here. I'm gonna say go with 64 or lower. There are higher options available but here's the deal. The patch for Sky Factory 4, I've had trouble getting the 128 version to work. Uh, this has been on my Mac and on my Windows PC, both fairly powerful systems. I it, For some reason when I apply the 128 patch it removes all the texture pack. So I would suggest going with 64 or you know by all means try 128 if you if you want to give it a shot and see if it's working but if not I would go with 64 so click download and you can either become a supporter or download with ad I'm going to download with ad just don't click anything just right up here in the top corner wait it out and in about two one there we go skip the ad and it'll begin downloading immediately the final link in the description will take you again to the bd craft website but to a form page where you can download the patch for sky factory 4 and this patch actually on this page you can see you got one two three four make sure you select sky factory 4 and then again i recommend the 64 because the 128 i was having trouble with you might be able to get it working but click the 64 it'll start downloading and it should go to your downloads folder I've got my downloads down here in the dock, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to move everything to the desktop so that hopefully you can follow along a little bit easier. Although, looking at it now, it's all very tiny. The first thing you want to do is launch the Twitch. It's either going to be a .dmg if you are on Mac or not a .dmg if you're on Windows. I can't for the life of me remember what it would be on Windows, but it'll be twitch.something double click it to launch and begin the installation process so all you got to do for installation is grab the twitch icon and drag it to the applications folder once it's copied over you can just launch the application from the launchpad so if i go down here and click launchpad there is twitch you can of course type in up here to locate it or you could do command space and type in twitch and it should come up there as well then just click enter and it will launch the program uh, it'll ask you if you want to open it or cancel. Click open, obviously. Got it. And now you need to sign into Twitch. Once you log in, it'll take you to this page and you'll want to go to mods, Minecraft, and then browse mod packs. Now you'll need to search for Sky Factory 4, or it might just be right down here when you click on browse mod packs because it's pretty popular and a lot of people are downloading it. Oops. But if not, just type in Sky Factory, all one word, space 4 and it should bring up one pack. Click install and it'll begin the installation process. Once it's done installing, you can click on it and it'll take you to this page. You could just click play and go have a fun time, but what we're gonna do is click on the cog over here, open folder, and then that will open up this folder here where we can then go into resource packs and we're going to drag our pure BD craft as well as our Sfax Sky Factory patch 
No need to open them, no need to combine them, just drop them into the resource packs folder. When that's done, we're gonna go to the cog again, and this time we're gonna go to profile options. And this is where you can change your memory settings. You can also change them in the Twitch app settings, but I'm gonna change them here. If you're not using a resource pack, I would recommend still increasing this to four gigs. Uh, and if you are, you definitely wanna increase it to at least four gigs or more although there are diminishing returns after about four gigs. And if you're wondering, four gigs is about 4,000 megabytes. It's a little bit more than that, but it's really hard to get this in there precisely. Like I can just kind of twitch the mouse a little bit and you can see it drops and goes up massively. So I wouldn't worry too much about getting it super precise. Also, if you don't have four gigs of uh, RAM in your system, don't assign it to four gigs. I say if you have two, set it to one. If you have four, set it to two. And if you have more than four, and you can set it to four and you should be good to go. And if you want to get it right on four gigs, you're trying to get it onto 496. But again, uh, good luck with that. That's pretty close right there. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and go with it. I'll say, okay. And then I'm going to click play. At this point, you will need a legitimate Minecraft account to sign in and play. If you don't have one, you can get one from the Minecraft website. I believe it's minecraft.net still probably. And uh, put that information here and then click log in. Once you're logged in, you can hit the play button and it will begin downloading even more files if this is the first time running this version of Minecraft because it has to download and set up the correct version of Minecraft and get the correct Forge version installed and all of that. But then it will begin the launch process and you can sit back and wait for a while. And if you managed to stay awake during that, then congratulations, you made it to the pack you are finished unless of course you did install these facts resource pack, in which case we need to go to options, resource pack, and then enable these in the following order. Do the pure BD craft 64X first, then Sfax Sky Factory 4 X64. On top of that, if you get the order wrong, you can move them around like that. Uh, it, this doesn't really matter the order, but I always put the patch on top just in case it has different textures than the pack itself. Once you're done, click done, and then prepare to wait a little bit longer. Uh, I have many powerful computers, I have some less powerful computers, and they all equally take a very long time to apply these changes. There we go, and as you can see it was a success. We now have the Pure BD Craft uh, buttons. So we can click done, go to single player, create a new world, name the world whatever you want, put whatever seeds you want in there. You can leave all this probably exactly as it is. Over here you have your different options for worlds, so Sky Factory, uh, tutorial, Sky Grid, Compact Sky. The one I'm doing in my live stream series and having a lot of fun with is Skylands. I can recommend it. The one that did catch my attention was the, oh, where was it? Between Bedrock and a Hard Place. This one's kind of cool. It sticks you between two layers of bedrock. That's certainly not for everyone though. And there are lots of other really neat options that I recommend taking a look at before you choose you know, your basic Sky Factory 4 Skyblock. And with that, our tutorial is brought to a close. If you have any questions, I might be able to answer them. Ask them in the comments section down below. And if I don't know, maybe someone else will. Till next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless each and every single one of you. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.